everyone. I hope you're doing well. I'm here today with my little fairy Val and um, I've kind of been on the hunt for uh, clothes for her which aren't a zone prices let me put it that way and my friend Lydia recently made a video where she dressed her little fairy or her um, Pico Nemo in some Bratz kids clothing. I will link her video down below so thank you so much for that Lydia. So I went on eBay and I found a lot of free um, fashion packs so today we're going to look at them and see what actually fits well. She's currently wearing a mashup of different clothing um, and her jacket and the shoes are from an LOL tween, this girl right here. So yeah, only the jacket really fits her and then the shoes if she does not have her feet on. But let's get into the first fashion pack. So the first one looks like it is for Yasmin. Uh, winter time. I'm going to unbox them one by one and we can try them on Val. Okay, so I decided to remove Val's outfit off camera and the reason why I really wanted some other fashion for her was because she came with such a poofy dress and I mean her body is so poseable and in the poofy dress you can't really see uh, her posability or see how she poses or put her in a weird pose. So I want something like pants or shorter skirt to see, you know, to have her pose better. You know, just for interesting photos and so. So let's get into the first fashion pack. By the way, I know absolutely nothing about Brad's kids. I didn't have them as a child, so they're not exactly nostalgic to me. I know I would have liked to have them. Okay, it's like an MGA entertainment uh, competition or something. Obviously, this is very old, so it's like a sweepstakes. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so I absolutely butchered that box. I didn't know how to open it and I just really wanted to get in there. So yeah, it's a very cute picture of Jasmine. Oh, look at that. It's like a paper doll. It's really cute. Maybe I can keep it. Really nice. Okay, interesting. What's a jacket? So, hmm. Have to rip this, Let's see if we can save the paper doll. Okay, well, I'll save her for now. It's really cute. And then the little body form as well. Okay, so uh, I think I'm going to start off by trying the shoes. Um, and of course they have like little holes, they have little pegs, so it's not exactly going to work. But, like I did with the other doll, I want to remove her feet. Let's see, is this the right side? I'm not sure. Let's see. I think if you, if you just balance it correctly, it could work. Maybe put some um, Prestik or iPutty blue tack whatever in there it could work it is a possibility so that's quite nice but i think it's only for these types of shoes that don't have like a skin color but okay let's try the shirt i think i'm going to take off her head just for safety there we go i think this is going to get quite interesting It's so cute! It actually fits really nice. I wonder if it will fit the LOL doll as well. That would be quite interesting. But um, for now I'm only focusing on her. Um, I'm wondering about the pants. Let's take off the other foot. Or the tight. Wow, they actually do fit. Wow, 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 wow. I am surprised. Now I'm really happy I did this. 
Okay, now will the skirt go over the tights? Sure, this might be a bit tricky. Might have to put on the skirt first. Yeah, so next time I would put on the skirt first. That would be a bit easier. But, oh, that is so cute. <gasps> oh, that is really cute. And MGA has good quality clothing, so um, yeah, that's not bad. Let's try the boot. Oh, yeah. Oh, the kind of bunches up the tight. But, like I said, it could work. And of course, the little jacket. I'm not a big fan of animal prints actually. I mean, black and white, like cow polka dots, I guess. They're okay, but um, I'm, not, I'm not really a big fan. But, ta da! That is so cute! <laughs> wow! Okay! Look at that. Isn't she adorable? Let's have a closer look. is the school set. What's weird is it's a picture of Jade um, with a much different outfit and I can see that there's like Sasha feet. It says Sasha, that's odd. Maybe that's why the person has so many that they're selling because these were like misprints or rejects or maybe they repacked them. Ah, I don't know. It doesn't matter. <laughs> So unfortunately these shoesies won't work. They're very cute though. Maybe I'll be able to give them to someone who has a Sasha. We'll see. And there's a cute little jade doll. The skirt and the bag like kind of goes with this skirt but more like the style. There was a beautiful like springtime dress, more pastel-y or more vibrant that I really like, but it was more expensive to buy alone. So these are all more like you know, vibrant, but they're a bit more dark in color scheme. Okay, let's try the shirt. Cute little print. bit of a tighter fit there at the top but it still looks good the other set had a lot more pieces I guess the bag is like a big attraction in this set oh, it has one of those panty pieces I'll just have to cut off since uh, yeah she's probably the only doll to really gonna wear them so this is a much more cropped look hmm. Let's see for interest if the shoes would have worked in any way. No, you could have made them work, I guess. All right, well, I'm just going to put on her original shoes and let's see what she looks like. which is a Chloe or Jade set the only one with actual pants I still would like some shorts maybe but let's see if the pants work
Okay, so the belt um, is like crumbling completely, but I mean it is old, so I guess it's to be expected. It's a shame, but yeah, it is what it is. Maybe I can place something else there in the future. Okay, so here is another skin tone mismatch, so that would not work either. Okay, so now I see that the shirt is also crumbling. Oh, that's disappointing. So, yeah, it's basically, and uh, the bag also has that material, so it's basically just the pants and the handbag that is actually usable here. Um, hopefully I can salvage them in some way. So, yeah, the pants are, they're cute. Um, I just don't know what shoes I'm going to have to do the boots again but for now I'm going to put her back into her actual shoes to have a closer look and then I'll give you my final thoughts. My final thoughts on this little haul is um, I'm happy that I did buy them. I think it was maybe like $12 for the three sets, but of course um, I had to pay local shipping um, and get it imported and pay shipping on that as well. So, you know, it, it adds up. But um, Azon clothes are really expensive, so I would have probably bought one thing for $12 plus plus plus. But um, I have quite a few pieces I can use here, and I think the first winter set would definitely be my favorite. And of course, you can mix and match in whichever way that you like. So I am quite happy, and thanks again to Lydia for showing me that this actually would work. Um, so yeah, now I can dress her up and get up in some interesting poses and mix and match with things that I have, and uh, just have more fun with my little fairy belt. Thanks everyone for watching and have an awesome day. Bye.